Hi there, and I'm in an open collab. That's right, an open collab. Whoops, I'm cutting my head off here. I'm in an open collab, and it is hosted by Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things. That's right, Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things. Just trying to adjust this correctly. There you go. And um, this is called Tea Tuesday. That's right, Tea Tuesday. Everybody is welcome. I am presently drinking my favorite sweet tea. Oh yeah. And this is an open collab, like I said. You can come in and chat. You can show crafts. You can color. You can show your dog, which Maggie's trying to get up here right now. Um, you can do anything. We'd love to have you in our wonderful group of ladies and gentlemen that we have here. I am going to read out of my wonderful book, Brenda Gant. It's going to be good, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good, y'all. You got that right. Maggie, what did I say? No. She's getting up in my other recliner. Getting at no. After my parsley plant. No. And my new little baby dolls here that's keeping Kathy company. So let me tell you what we're going to do. Maggie, no. No, that's not a nice girl. We are going to talk about sour cream coconut cake. That sour cream coconut cake. And look at it. Doesn't that look yummy? Whoops. Sorry. They've got some green coconut with some eggs on top. What a wonderful Easter cake. Oh, yeah. I'm doing this one because we're... Easter's coming up upon us. Come on, Meg. Easter's starting to come up on us. Um, this will make a lovely dessert. Come on, Maggie. Come on. You can come over here. So, let's get started. Maggie's just being Maggie today. It says, I serve this every year at ye Easter. Me mama always dyed a little shredded coconut green with food coloring, it made a nest. Oh, I used to do that with cupcakes. With it on top of the cake and put a few jelly beans in the nest. She liked to dye eggs too. So we'd all have yellow, purple, green, and red fingers from the food coloring. She was such a good mama and Grammy. Oh yeah. I am going to put the recipe down in the description box so you will have it as well. And what you need is a half a cup of solid grease, one stick of salted butter, room temperature, two cups of sugar, four large eggs, two cups of white lily self-rising flour, um, a third cup of whole milk, there goes Maggie. A third cup of whole milk. Van um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. <coughs> Excuse me. Sour cream coconut cake icing. Oh, yum. And everything in here is in the, in the, will be in the description box below. You want to preheat your oven oh, to 350. Combine the greased butter, sugar, and eggs in a stand mixer and beat on high speed for five minutes. Yep, for five minutes. Oh, let's see here. Falling apart since Maggie jumped up. Um, let's see, for five minutes. Yeah. Then add your flour, milk, buttermilk, and vanilla and mix well. Oh, sounds good, doesn't it? I wouldn't be able to make this because my granddaughter and my son is highly allergic to coconut. Pour into four nine-inch round greased and floured cake pans 
Bake at 25 to 30 minutes. Allow cakes to cool completely before icing. Just a little story here in between. My granddaughter was in college and somebody had eaten some coconut candy and had used just the doorknob of her of their room. Well, let me tell you, my Miss Haley went and turned the doorknob got that on her hand, she ended up in the emergency room. They didn't know what was wrong with her. She didn't know until finally it came down to coconut. Yeah. And my son, when he found out he was in the Navy and they were out to sea, and no, no, he wasn't out to sea. He was on the flying deck. He was working on the deck of, the, of a, a jet plane. And um, somebody had touched some ropes or something and it had coconut on it. He had an emergency flight out. He was so, so sick. So that's just my quick stories about them. So here we go. Sour cream coconut cake icing. One cup of sugar, two cups of sour cream, two cups of coconut, one 16 ounce container of whipped topping. I was kind of curious on what the sour cream coconut cake icing was gonna taste like. <coughs> Excuse me, still got my cough. Mix sugar and sour cream, add coconut, dip out a half a cup of icing and set it aside. When the cake is cooled, Stack the layers, adding ice in between each layer. Mix the whipped topping with a half a cup of icing that was set aside. Cover the top and sides. And then gently sprinkle with coconut on top and sides. Refrigerate for two days before serving. Wow, two days. That's pretty, yeah, wow. I'm surprised. And here is Brenda Gant. Whoops. This here is Brenda Gant right here. And then here's pictures of her family. I'm just looking here. Oh, her husband is at the head of the table and he is in a blue, blue, uh, well, I'll show you. Okay, he's there a couple places. This is her husband right here in the white. And this is her husband here, just different years, I believe, right there. And this is her, let me, I got to look at him. This here is her daughter, all grown up with her husband. He also writes books as well. He writes outdoors and stuff like that type of books. And the rest of the grandkids. So there's some just some pictures of Brenda Gant and what they were like and what they had for Easter. So that's what I have for you on Tea Tuesday. And again, this is sour cream coconut cake. And I'll hold it up. You want to do a still, and it'll be in the description box down below as well. So there you have it. Well, guys, you never know what's going to be on my my uh, channel here on YouTube. Like I always say, you never know. So if you're not subscribed, hit that bell, and you'll get all my notifications. I do try to post at least once a day, sometimes three times a day, depending how busy my day is. And those that don't know, I run two households. I take care of my parents, run for them. They're an hour one way from me, so I have a two hour round trip just to get to their home and back. So I do stay very busy and get very tired some days. So I'm gonna let you go, ring a ding ding. And you never know what's going to be on my videos. God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.